I can't work in anything but whole numbers. <laughs> like, like circle no- zero numbers. Yeah. I can only work in tens, decades. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we take all that out. No. I don't need people. To, I don't need to be revealed for my math deficiency. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. I'm a Greenbrier station wagon. A what? <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound that confident. Because a green. Bri- it's a Greenbrier, but is it Pontiac? Is it Chevrolet? I don't know. It was. It was a type of. We had it. It was a type of station wagon. I thought there was only one. I thought like a station wagon was like a car type. There was multiple brands that made station wagons. Yeah. Interesting. And this here is Frank wearing his little hat. So cute. It's a big hat. Yeah. I had a guy uh, at the park tell me that I should be wearing a 360 degree yeah, hat. should. Because the sun on your ears. Yeah. And I said, sir, don't worry about my ears. No, you should. Um, Our friend works at a garden center and he wears a bucket hat. Um, the old Bucky. And still gets burnt. So you should. Yeah, go out and get your bucket hat. It is bucket hat season, for crying out loud. Mm-hmm. We're about to be in June. Do you know why it's called a bucket hat? Why is it called a bucket hat? No, I'm asking you. <laughs> because when you turn it upside down, it's like a bucket. Oh, okay. Do you think the original ones were like waterproof? But yeah, well, it's like a fisherman's hat, isn't it? Like originally? Fisherman's hat. But that has the holes in it. For, doesn't it have ventilation holes? Well, I don't know, but I'm just imagining the style. I know the- like a baseball hat is a little different, but it oh. was by the baseball players. You know, and it's because why is the baseball hat shaped that way? For the sun. For the sun in your eyes when you need to catch the ball or hit the ball. Yeah. Uh, but you don't need it all here. You need peripheral vision, and you need to be able to run in it and stuff. Like they back. Oh, in, you can tighten it. Yeah, back in the day, they, you know, they had like the fancy hats, but you can't run around with a fancy knit hat. They had you, fancy hats. Well, like you know, I'm thought the, the baseball is America's pastime. Right. So back in the day. They had, you know, either like the fedora type hats or like the poor in people. Baseball? No. Oh. Why would it? Why was it called a baseball cap? It's because it's the cap everyone, you wear. At baseball. It's yes. not the cap you wear when you were walking. It to was work. like a sporty cap. Gotcha. It, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't mm-hmm. your business casual right, hat. Right. But the fisherman's hat. What? What different? What like? I know what I think of when I think of the fisherman's hat. What are you thinking? I'm thinking of the uh, salmon brand that is a yellow box. And oh, a, you're thinking it's so specific. I just was thinking that they hang the license or permit or permit, fishing permit. Uh, on the hat. You, you pin your fishing permit on your hat so yeah. that when you're fishing and the game warden is going around trying to catch people who are fishing illegally, uh, you don't have to stop and take out your wallet and say, here's my thing. It's like, you know what? Tip the hat to you, sir. Just read it. Just I'm read busy. It. I, I'm casting a line. I'm, I'm really. I know. And, I know fishing. I've never been fishing. You, d- you did, because I bought you a fishing rod because you were in D.A.R.E. at one point. Oh, yeah. D.A.R.E. <laughs> against drugs and alcohol. Wait. <laughs> D-A-R-E. D.A.R.E. against... No, D.A.R.E. was not in the word. It yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. Oh. Drugs... And... Res- drugs, alcohol, resistance, education. Oh, it might be that. Drugs and alcohol resistance education. Something like that. Yeah. I saw a study that said that um, there's not around anymore. It caused a lot of people to do more drugs and alcohol. Um, I think it was funny that when you were in school, they were picking the good kids to be in the D.A.R.E. program because they didn't want any trouble. That was so weird. Yeah. So <laughs> I, was in, I was in sixth grade and um, they were saying for summer, we're going to pick two kids from every class. Right. And they can be in the D.A.R.E. program. Right. And we're going to get them off the streets. Yeah. You, they, they were like, so you got to be good. And then it, you have to like say, I want to do it. And then you have to mm-hmm. be very on your best behavior. Mm-hmm. It doesn't really make sense. No. It should be the kid who's in detention yeah. every day. Sent Bridget him. was in it. Yeah. You and your cousin. Well, I guess like not. The best student. If it wasn't working. Actually, it's even worse. They were corrupting the good kids. Exactly. Yeah, uh, they took all the kids who hadn't even thought about doing drugs yeah. and alcohol. And they, they let you put on the drunk goggles. Yeah. And they were like... Listen, you won't be able to even like know who you are. <laughs> I like these memes that are like um, back in there. And it was like when you're in parties, everyone was offering you. Oh, free yeah. Drugs. Right, <laughs> right, right. It's like an adult. Free. Right? And it's like, who? where are those people? No, because yeah. I've been looking for them. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. So, okay. So, bucket hat is just the shape of the hat is um, sort of a shape. Yeah, it's like a bucket. a bucket on your head. I don't know. Maybe you really could use it as a bucket. Like if your boat was filling with 
you don't have to bail, bail, bail. I don't know. But um, I, I, I don't know if I said this on a previous podcast, but when I was little, I had a bucket hat that had a, a little windshield and you could a little plastic windshield of sunglass material like uh, it might have been yellow or pink. What was the point? To keep the sun out of your eyes. But it was like a little beach hat. It was, uh, like, it was a bucket hat, and then it had a. Why are you going so low? It was a bucket hat <laughs> because it it had to come this low because it had a windshield for your eyes. Oh, and yeah. so it was covering your face. Yeah, you could bring it down. <laughs> so now the windshield went here, and I could see out of it, and it and everybody looked yellow or pink. I can't remember. I was Wildwood in the no, summers of. The years that began with Summer 19. of 69. Not that one. Um, yeah. Uh, it's May 20. Um, it's May 26th. Last. Oh, I think I said it was May 25th. I think I got it wrong. It's May 25th. Yeah. No. It's May 26th. Yeah. Right. May 26th. <laughs> last year at this time, there was a big, big news. It was was all over the news that Shell, you know, Shell gas station. Yeah. The other day we were pulling into Texaco, I think. Texaco? I, isn't, that's a gas station. Yeah, but why? I only ever go to Wawa. I look for prices and I must have had a low price. None of them was, are low anymore. No, we're it was almost, Sunoco. We're almost, that, it was okay, Sunoco. I'll do Sunoco. Because it was right there. It was Sunoco and I we were pulling in and I said, um, I, maybe the price was high or low. I don't know. All I know is I said to my companion, I said, what are you doing, Sunoco Oil Company? Like like how dare you or yeah. or good job i don't know what i said and she was like that's what that means and i what? was like yeah sunoco means sunoco oil company what sunoco means sun oil company did i say sunoco oil yeah company? you said sunoco, sunoco means i said what are you doing sun oil company oh yeah sun o co yeah and texaco is texas oil company oh i was at i think it was sunoco talking about our gas stories and I saw the price was it's still terrible, but I'm like, it's lower than other places by maybe 10 cents. And um, I get all giddy and I do my little Apple Pay and I get the nozzle out, boom, hit the button, put it in. No, I didn't. That would have been better if I had done that. Okay. I had cash for some reason. Oh. Never have cash. Had a crisp 20. Okay. The old Jefferson. Yeah. Go. I see the price is low. Right. I walk inside. I say, put 20 on it. Why not? I'm feeling bougie. That'll get me a <laughs> almost half a tank. Oh, in the, in I'm worried already. There was fine print. No, fine print for what? Like like something that, that wasn't the right price. No. I go out and then oh. I just quickly like a like a gunslinger. Right. Well, bang, bang, bang. And I turn and I see, why does it say $5? I, pr- I pressed the pro on accident. Oh, that it was all yeah. your fault. It's all my fault. I got better gas. And it was like, it wasn't my card where I could cancel it. And I wasn't going to go inside and say, that I'm stinks. an idiot. I was but, anticipating you were, that's why I said the fine print. I was anticipating that you were going to say, because um, I saw a low price and I was like, yes. And um, much lower than everybody else. And so I went in to get it and I, I had to... I had to at that point because it was so low and I had sought it out and um, it was with car wash. Did you get a car wash? No. Do you know what I mean? It was only that price if you got a car wash. Was that over there in Southampton? Yeah. Yeah. But if I got a car wash, I would would have been spending more money. Yeah. So I was like. Yeah. That's the whole gimmick. But that's not why I said any of that. Oh, last year at this time, news came out about Shell, um, you know, Shell uh, oil company. Shell oil Shell gas station. That they Shaloko. <laughs> Shaloko. Shaloko. I like Shaloko. that. That's a good um <laughs> greeting. greeting. <laughs> and um they got in trouble and it was like a landmark case of um uh legal um verdict came down that they had to lower their emissions by twenty thirty. Mm. And I don't I didn't follow it too closely, but it was um really, really big and really, really groundbreaking and um they were forced to do it and it was worldwide news. Um, I was looking up, uh, trying to look up this May 26th because it's been a year. How are they doing? Obviously, they, ha- they have until 2030, but have they been doing? Have they been making the steps? Anything, right? And yeah, they have, of course, because they're a gigantic, extremely rich company with yeah. tons of legal people who will not disobey the law. But you know the word greenwashing. 
What? Greenwashing. No. It's like brainwashing? It's like it's like brainwashing, it's like whitewashing. Greenwashing is uh not pretending, but really really using tactics to appear that you are environmentally friendly uh, and so you're making these claims and you're yeah. getting you know you're getting approval for your brand yeah. because you're green but in reality when you look at the numbers and you look at the percentages and you which people don't yeah so you just greenwash it and be like we absolutely recycle we absolutely yeah reduce our emissions and then like when apple gets rid of the box charger and then comes out and says oh we have such lower plastic waste because of it right and it's like well you're still using sweatshops yeah. but now we right just, you're actually making less or like when when mcdonald's lowers the sizes for things and says we're making healthier options and it's like, well, right. I'm paying more no, that's for true. less. That's true. Your health, wa- your health washing. And <laughs> I, like, I have such a qualm against McDonald's. I know. I think I think we could have a compilation if we Which, pull. The funny thing is it's, it's literally the opposite of what people, people hate it because like, right. oh, childhood obesity and all of this stuff. It's not real chicken. Right. And I'm here saying, how dare you <laughs> make your sizes smaller? I want the super size. That's funny. I'm American. I should be able to get it. Um. Um, one of the things, like one of the fun little things they did was like, we're absolutely positively going to lower our emissions, our emissions. We, we don't have anything to do with the people who use our oil or take it. Like they do all these kind of things and it's like, I don't know. And I, like, I, I will not say that I follow it closely, but that was last year. Not much. Maybe the next 29 years they're going to, they wanted the first year, maybe they were skating and the next 29 years they're going to do better. Not 29, 10 years. Ten year, what year do you think it is? 2001? <laughs> You're stuck in 2001. I'm taking 20, 20 and re- thinking that was something. 10 years, maybe in the next nine. Eight, <laughs> eight years. <laughs> it's 2022. I can't work in anything but whole numbers. Like, like circle no- zero numbers. Yeah. I can only work in tens, decades. Well, <laughs> we take all that out no i don't need people to, i don't need to be revealed for my math deficiency that's okay everyone has a deficiency <laughs> i have an iron deficiency no you don't i, I don't do. know my hands have been getting a little cold recently really yeah all right guys um let's cut to the chase it's may 26th it's ascension day i was about to say a national ascension day but i think that is a little bit bigger than national as interstellar yeah it's yeah. ascension day what is ascension day or what is the ascension, the great, the grand ascension? I was at an, an Amish uh, farmer's market type situation, um, but it's indoors. Um, and anyway, I saw signs last week that because they're always they're you know, they always observe um, Sunday is a holy day. And um, they had signs, up, you know, homemade signs. It said yeah. because they're they're normally open. What um, today's Thursday? Yeah. Yeah. So um this little market is a big market. They're open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday only every week. And last week it said, we won't be open next Thursday because it's Ascension Thursday. That's all I know. You don't know what the Ascension is? So the Ascension is Jesus obviously was crucified, uh, died, and was buried. And on the third day, he rose from the tomb. Yes. Went around saying, I'm back. I'm back. Really, really <laughs> back. And um, then, you know, the question is, well, where did he go then? Did he die again? No, he ascended. He was ascended, like, you know, up into heaven. Right. Not to he be left con- one plane and went to another. Not to be confused, confused with Assumption Day. Assumption. Assumption. Where Mary was assumed. Jesus ascended. Mary was assumed. Do you know okay. the difference? Uh, wh- um, so Mary also didn't die. She was assumed into heaven. Jesus ascended. I am ascending. Mary is assumed. She, oh, was, she was pulled up to, heaven. up to heaven. So it was it was under his own power, but she was brought up. She was brought by he the power up, of God. She was brought up. Okay. That's a little difference. But today is about the Ascension Day because obviously, you know, Easter was a month ago. Or whatever. So up until now, Jesus has been going around uh, saying, I'm back, saying, yo, Thomas, let me see them hands. <laughs> Here's a cop. Let me see those hands. 
Um, Wait, is that for real? I don't know what's happening. Late uh, podcasts are bad. Early podcasts are bad. No, caf- no caffeine podcasts That's are bad. That's what it is. So, guys, yeah. So, it, it's Ascension Day. Um, I don't know. What would you do? Just pray? Woke up the steps a lot. <laughs> Never that you have to go back down. Yeah. Um. All right, guys. Um. So, it is also Thursday, my favorite day of the week. Maybe your favorite day of the week at this point if i just keep saying it's the best day of the week i'm sure maybe someone is like every day is your best day no tell that to a tuesday <laughs> why would i tell it to the day i'm saying a person so guys we have a little thing here called walk through thursday mm-hmm. roll the intro please Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cause walk through Wednesday just begun. What is up, guys? It is walk, walk through, through Thursday. Thursday. You know the vibes. On walk through Thursday, we open up the, the Bible. Bible. And just like our Instagram stories, which you should be following because the bracket is going yeah. hard. I know. In the paint. We're in the Elite Eight. Yes. It is getting down to the thick of it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go follow at Croak and Crow and check out the stories and you'll get caught right up. Yeah, you're right in time. You didn't have to go through the whole harder part in the beginning. So we pick a verse on Walk Through Thursday from the glorious Bible and we break it down and slow it down. We're not talking about the entire thing. We can some other day. We can talk about the overarching themes and how it all comes down to love. We're but more today, than willing. More than willing. We are taking one verse and we're finding all of the juicy details and spiritual knowledge in it. And we like to caveat it with that the Bible is a living word and we are getting from it what we get from it now. And you might read it and get something different. Right. Does that make us wrong? You right? You right and us wrong? No, we can both be right. The Bible is meant for us to get spiritual knowledge yeah. out of it individually. Yeah. And that's Every why everyone person. likes to read it. Without further ado, we are going to get into it. So obviously it is Ascension Day. We've been there, said that. So we are going to read a little little uh, verse mm-hmm. that kind of has to do with the Ascension. Okay. This is John 2017. John 2017. We should have a uh, bing, like a Jesus bingo. <laughs> yeah. And so it's like, and you have to know what it, so on the top will be like Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and then on the sides will be like verses. And. Uh, All right. You work that out. Just read the thing. Okay. Because that sounds hard. <laughs> no, I figured it out. So you'd have like a John day. And so um, on the top, you'd have like. Oh, God, do you. Different numbers, like one. That's two, the chapter. One, yeah, eight, nine. Mm-hmm. And so it's like one or no, they wouldn't say the number. They would say the verse, and you have to know the number. That's harder for the checker to check, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. All right, guys. It is John 2017. Let's just get into it. <clears throat> Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. How about that? It's great. Little backstory before I, I give my little two te- two cents. The this is right after um, the tomb was discovered as empty. Mary Magdalene finds Jesus and is like, oh, "He's not dead. He's like not she, dead. Like and, they left him." And she's like, "Ah, come here!" And he's like, "Don't hold on to me." Like basically, I'm in this process of okay. ascending. So in, yeah. instead, go to tell my brothers that the apostles, the disciples. Tell them I am ascending to my father and your and your father to my God and your God. Yes. So, um, yeah. Anything to say about that? Yeah, I wish I had it because I'm just um, when you're saying I'm here. Oh, okay. Beauty of the plastic, I can see through it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, I like this part, and I know we're supposed to start from the very beginning, and but who cares? It's, who cares for Thursday? Um, I'm ascending to my father and your father. I love that. To my God and your God. I know it went right to the bottom. Just because obviously Jesus, you know, is God and is so important and special. And like we just said, he is ascending himself up to heaven. He's not having to be assumed yeah. like Mary. Um, and he's different than us. If we were crucified, we would not, right, you know, get out of the, the cave um, and so forth. But So he's so special. And lots of times we feel separated from like, well, 
it's you're so great and um powerful and i'm not and and so of course i'm I'm ascending to my father um returning to heaven of my own accord so it would be like oh like bye like, you know yeah. we're separated now because yeah. i am still a human i i it's not going to go well for me if i'm crucified um but it's like no you and me like he's still saying yeah we're the same I, like well yeah because that's the thing right like who like in what situation does someone say that i'm going to my i'm going back to my father and your father that is almost what you would say to a brother right like right and it's like so what is where is he going home right right and so it's like you're going there too like yeah. i'm not leaving you going back to where the worst i came from right it's i'm going back to my father and your father i'm going home so yeah so it's like there it's it's not i'm going away from you it's i'm going to where we belong right how about that i like that all right so we can jump back at the top um jesus said first of all love bible verses that have actual um quotes from jesus from from jesus because yeah. so much of the bible is fantastic but it's it's prophets and people yes. and, and writers this is um jesus said this yeah and he's saying what did he say? Do not hold. He says, "Do not hold to on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father." Is um, and I I like this for two reasons. Um, one for Jesus, and two for not Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and so obviously he's talking to Mary Magdalene, who's so excited to see him. And in a way, like he's saying, like this is what I've been telling. Like this is more important. Like don't hold on to me and say you're back you're back like i haven't even i'm not, I'm not even i haven't even ascended yet like, right i'm doing my job right now <laughs> yes. like i'm in the process right of, you know fulfilling the scripture and, and right and proving to all of my disciples that i, I what right people not the disciples i was god on people earth. for like, all time right like, it's not a time to be holding on to the earthly what you wanted from jesus if anything it's like yeah this is this is this is the process i need to go through right go and pass on the word that I have ascended. Right. I, I am going to God. Like that's what's important. Right. And, and, and so, you know, if you just look at it, like it, it, like a newspaper article, you know, it's people are walking. She is like, Oh my gosh, yes. you, know, uh, 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 you and me, like, tell me everything. What happened? You know, and look at it like that. Like, don't hold on to me. I'm doing something. Go tell people. But for us to be using it, for forever after and thinking about it yeah like um it's more important for you for the for the for the word of me to go further than just you and me chatting about what it was like and where am i going and what you know yes so forth. yeah it's bigger than that personal right um, one on one right and so the other thing i want to talk about is i think this is like a nice verse also for people um there's a verse that uh, jesus is talking about to follow him where um it says let the dead bury the dead right but like, i'm here now come with me right i always find it a little more i understand what it means we've done walk through thursdays on it where mm -hmm. it's like what it means but this is kind of for me i take it along the same lines and i like it better and it's like um do not hold on to me for i have not yet ascended uh, to the father go and said and tell everyone that that's where i'm going that's what i'm doing and part of grief and and losing someone i feel like is this trying to hold on right and wanting to hold on uh up to the point where you might hire a medium or something right. where it's like i still need to be connected to you I there's want, unfinished like, yeah I, I i believe you're in a better place just like I, they mary Magdalene was a devote follower she believed right. Jesus as god but seeing him in person hearing his voice was like right you're trying to hold on to that right and he's like i'm going to like you said my father and your father right. like don't try so much to hold on to right this passing like you know that i right he was crucified like yeah in a way he already was dead at this point right but he's in the process of ascending and i think a lot of times in early stages of grief it's is that it's like uh let me like have a dream like let me like, let me talk to or hold on to and it's like don't try to hold on to it when you know when you believe like let your belief come first right and and that person is ascending and with the god of them and you yeah when you were describing that in such a relatable way it reminded me of like you know when um 
you're in a group or even if it's just two people or something and, and like you're separating or um, you're going to do a plan or, you yeah. know, there's a barbecue that there's and, and then you go like, wait, like I'll come with you, you know, and like, wait, because I still needed to tell you something. And you know how you're like, I'll meet you there. We're all, we're yeah. go, I'm going to the same place. I will yeah. see you there. Yeah. Like we don't have to do it right here, right now. Like go do what you were supposed to do and I have to go. Yeah. So I really just saw it like super right. He is like, your father's my father. I Where I'm going, you're going to follow, but it's yeah. not your turn. It's my turn. And yes. Do, 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 like, I'm going to meet you there. Yeah, yeah. I'll but, meet um, you there. Yeah, so I, I think you know, it's an important thing to remember of like trying, wanting to, and it's understandable to like want to hold on, but also understanding you know, in death and then both with Jesus and then with, you know, anyone can relate to it. It's that idea that yeah. they're not, they're going home right. and, and you'll meet them there. Right. How about that? But uh happy ascension day. Happy ascension day. Go uh ascend. To hot, hot air balloon maybe? Metaphorically ascend in life. Or you could um actually do it. I hot mean, air balloon. I know someone who went up in a hot air balloon. Do you? They never came back. Oh. No, they did. They blew away. They Would you go in a hot air balloon? I don't think I haven't done research to figure out how they work. Oh. Like what do they the drop fire. the sandbags for? What? <laughs> like the sandbags? Yesterday I was driving up up to get Avalon, sorry, real fast. And there was a man sitting in a chair and he had a fan on the back of his chair and he and he had a and he was Oh at, really? Yeah, around Tyler State Park. But That's he was like cool. I thought he was gonna hit like the electric wires because I'm just How big uh, was it? He was in it. I thought it was one of I thought it was like a hang glider or something. He was literally in a chair with a fan on it. Was it real? I wish I would have taken a picture. Was there wheels? Wait, he was in the air? Yes. He was flying. I thought it was a hang glider. Oh, I think I saw that on TikTok once. I saw it yesterday when I was driving. Oh, man. Boop. Yeah, I saw a guy who went and got McDonald's. He was descending. Um, All right, guys. That's our podcast. We'll be back tomorrow for Dr. Seuss Friday. You know the vibes. Um, Peace. Go birds. <laughs>